After working for a few companies, Amy decided to launch her own business one year ago. She said that although she didn't have many difficulties starting out, she still found it was not so easy for a woman to do business. Women have less physical strength than men, and we're weaker in some areas like strategic thinking and decision making. Investors who are mostly male are less willing to invest in females' projects, but some investors have been changing their minds after getting favorable returns on investments in businesses owned by women. Amy created incubators to help other women start businesses. She didn't limit it to just the financing, but also included marketing and business training. She said there would be great opportunities for both others and herself. Amy is determined to succeed with her business, and she's not the only woman in the country with such aspirations. According to a 2014 report, the number of female entrepreneurs in China soared last year, and the trend shows no signs of stopping. Experts say a huge female consumption market provides females more business opportunities, an unfavorable labor market to women, and the motivation provided by the current entrepreneurial boom have also led more females to start their own businesses. Women have advantages. They have good communication skills and more considerate than males. However, they face the challenge of stereotypes, especially the belief that women must have a stable family and live without risks and challenges. A lack of confidence and strong reliance are characteristic of Chinese women. If females want to be successful in business in the long run, they need the support of their families, including their parents and husband. Experts say not every woman is suitable for starting businesses. But this is a good time for those who are capable, enthusiastic, and ready to free their thoughts. Liu Li, CCTV, Beijing.